Welcome to the Eliza Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover the basics of the built-in Snapshot Engine. The Snapshot Engine provides a high degree of control, having been redesigned to give much more functionality and usability. Snapshots are used to take a picture of all of the source parameters in their current state on the soundscape. Multiple snapshots can be taken and easily switched between. First, let's open up the snapshots list on the left-hand side of the soundscape. To take a snapshot, click the plus button. We can then select all of our sources, move them 90 degrees to the left, and create a new snapshot. Towards the back, and to the right. We can then easily recall these snapshots by using the left and right arrow buttons, and by arming and firing a snapshot that might be out of the sequence. Snapshots can also be renamed for clarity. Let's name these Intro, Verse, Chorus, and Outro. When we fire a snapshot, we can see the active snapshot is listed at the bottom corner of the soundscape area, just above any active reverb presets. Crossfade times can be added to the snapshots to allow for smooth transitions between two snapshots. When fired, we can see the gradual movement from the intro to the verse. The Snapshot Engine provides the ability to preview and edit snapshots in an offline mode, even while the live show may be running. Click the Preview and Edit button to enter the offline mode, indicated by a change on the soundscape to a dark blue background with each source now turned white. A different snapshot can be previewed ahead of time by clicking on it. Sources can be modified and updated without worrying about affecting any real-time audio. Click Exit to get out of the offline mode. We are still in the verse snapshot, but by recalling the chorus, we can see our modifications made in the offline mode. Snapshots can be triggered manually, in sync with MIDI timecode, external OSC, and MIDI program change. More features and functions can be found in the Snapshots page. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts Command-4 on Mac and Control-4 on Windows. On this page, Snapshots can be previewed as well as adding additional Snapshot actions to have even more controls. For more information regarding the Snapshot engine, please refer to the detailed help file. This has been the Eliza Studio Quick Start for the Snapshot engine.